We are about to talk about the hottest bag from Coach right now, the Coach Tabby Messenger Bag. Since this bag is not officially released yet, the information about it has been piecemeal. It's all over the place, but what I have done is lots and lots of obsessive research. I've put all the information together in one place here for you, and that is what this video is about so we can prepare for when this bag drops and we'll know exactly what we want, so stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's jump right in. I'm going to tell you the three sections of this video that I'm going to cover and then we will dive into the first one. The first one is the Runway Collection where they first introduced the Tabby Messenger bag. I'm going to show you some examples of what they showed on the runway. Then we'll talk about in part two the drop that they did right after the runway show of some Coach Tabby bags. Very exclusive. I'll show you what they had available. And then part three is what is coming soon. What they have actually released that will be available for us to purchase and what your different options are. What sizes, what leathers, what colors, and how much you want to spend. All right, part one, the runway show. The Coach Tabby Messenger was released in the spring summer 2023 runway show and that show happened in the fall of 2022. That's the one that had Lil Nas X as part of the show and it featured primarily very large tabby messenger bags and a few different materials and quite a few colors. One that we saw was an uncoated fabric that was very worn with rips, like ripped jeans. So here's one in a burgundy. Here's one in probably a navy, but it might be a dark purple. It's a little hard to tell. And here's one in a weird yellow. It's kind of an icky looking yellow in this picture. They also released it in some really beautiful, supple looking leathers in solid colors. Here's one in beige. It's more like a vachetta color. Here's one in a darker brown. Keep this one in mind. We're going to talk about that more later. Here's a yellow. Here's a green, close to my heart. Here's a burgundy, very rich looking. They also released it in a few pieces that I would describe as leather patchwork. So there's this one with whites and off-whites, stripes mostly. And this one again with the stripes, but it's more browns and yellows. And with this one, you can see some details like some buttonholes and some curved pieces. And that makes me think, because they've done this before, that these are recycled pieces from other coach items. I don't know that for sure, I'm just guessing. They also have this smaller size, much smaller size metallic bag. It has silvers and golds, and you can see that's made of several different pieces as well. There's a zipper on one, there are seams everywhere. There's one that has, what are those things called that you, like grommets that you have on a belt or on a handbag strap that's adjustable and the little metal piece from the buckle goes in them. So that gives us two sizes, quite a few colors and a few different options for the textures. And then there's also the best one in my opinion, this very small size leather one that looks like it's made from a football and I don't know what else. I would have guessed they would have done something like this from baseball gloves because that's a thing coach does. Baseball leather is part of their history, but it's a football for some reason. Gorgeous bag though, wouldn't it be something to have that? And just so you're aware, even though this is not the main subject of the video, there are two more bags in this runway show that were notable. One is this Coach Tabby wristlet that we saw in leather in a few different colors. And then the other that a lot of people went a little crazy for is this Tabby in jelly. That's what we're calling it, right? The squishy rubbery jelly. Now, as I go through this video and I tell you some of the information that I got from lots of different places, for some of it, I'll tell you where I got the information. And here is one bit you may be interested in if you're interested in the jelly bags. Weiwei Rubenstein, she is a coach sales associate and she's on the Coach Gone Rogue Facebook group. I got a lot of my information from there and from CGR 2.0, which is Coach Gone Rogue 2.0. There are lots of people like us and there are lots of coach sales associates in those groups as well. Anyway, Weiwei says that those jelly bags are coming soon and they will be $350. So if you're interested 
interested in one of those, you can contact her. She may already be able to order that for you, but I don't know anything else about colors and sizes and all that. All right, let's move to part two. I learned something from Ralph by Design on YouTube. I will have his channel linked below. He said that typically after a runway show, Coach will drop some very exclusive items from the runway or something similar to the ones on the runway on the Coach website and they sell out very quickly. But in the case of this show, they didn't drop the pieces on the website. They instead had a pop-up, which I believe was in New York, and it had to do with Mint and Surf, which I don't think had anything to do with this collection, but we now know they've worked with Coach on that graffiti collection that was out recently. And what they released were Tabby Messenger bags. But it's my understanding based on several videos I've seen from people who were able to get one of those bags that they were only released in a small size and a medium size, not those giant ones that we saw on the runway. And these two sizes were released in three colors. There was a black, a chalk, which is like Coach's white, what someone called a Bordeaux. I don't know if that's the official name, but that wine burgundy color. And they all had suede interiors, which is different from the new drop that we're about to get. Some of the leathers may be different as well. I was a little confused by one thing because most of the information I got was what I just gave you. However, Ralph by Design got a small one of these bags in red and Brand Brand 1984, and I think a few other people got it in that more vachetta color. So I guess those colors were also available. So I'm getting conflicting information there, but obviously those bags exist, so they must have been available in those colors as well. Of course, those bags sold out pretty much immediately, very hard to get. And on the pre-loved market, I have seen only one available currently. It's one of the Bordeaux colored ones, and it is quite a bit above retail, but I will have it linked below. Those are special pieces. They're collector's pieces with that suede interior. So if you really, really want one of those, maybe you're willing to pay that much for it, you can check it out. All right, now what you've all been waiting for, part three, where we learn what is actually being dropped what will be available for us to purchase, and I'll tell you all the options that I have heard about so far. First of all, when is it dropping? What I have heard generally from several people is the first week of March. I did get a date from one sales associate on a Facebook group that they said March 3rd, which is this Friday, if you're seeing this video before this Friday. But I would say that Coach is not always the most consistent of companies. So I would encourage you, if you are very strongly interested in this bag, to be checking that website multiple times a day, searching for Tabby Messenger. Now be aware there is another Tabby Messenger available. It's more boxy. It's not the more saddly hobo bag that we're talking about in this video and that we saw on the runway. They are releasing three sizes, small, medium, and large, and I'll tell you now what they're releasing in each size from what I've heard. And this is mostly from sales associates, so it should be accurate information. The small is 19 centimeters. Let me get a bag that's that small so you can get an idea of what we're talking about here. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of this bag now. The Beat. The Coach Beat Bag, this is the 18 centimeter. So you can see compared to the size of my head, it's a very small bag. It's seven inches across, so the 19 will be just slightly bigger than this. Very, very small. This one is very structured. The tabbies are a lot less structured, so you can probably fit more than you can in here. The small 19 tabby messenger will be available in green. I don't know if it's the same green that we saw on the runway there that looked like a darker green. Weiwei said it's a bright green, but I haven't seen any photos of it yet. And I believe that one is going to have gold hardware. It's also going to be available in a yellow with pewter hardware. I don't know what kind of yellow, haven't seen a picture of it yet. Chalk, which is their white with gold hardware and black with gold hardware. What seems to be everyone's favorite, burnished amber with silver hardware. This is the darker leather, but we're gonna talk about this burnished leather. You need to know some details about it, some very important things. So that was the small size, the medium size. It appears to be more like this size. That should be available in black with gold hardware. Ivory, not the same as chalk, ivory with silver hardware. And again, the burnished amber with silver hardware. Based on what I've seen, that medium size in the burnished amber is the most popular bag. So keep that in mind with what we're about to talk about. The large size, which is the size that you saw in the models there, the really giant ones, that's available in black leather with pewter hardware 
and in a brown signature denim with pewter hardware. I have in my notes that I got that information from Wendy Sekin Keller, sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly, in the Coach Gone Rogue group and that she might be a coach associate, but I couldn't tell for sure from the post that I got this from. Now let's talk about the burnished amber because that is a different leather from the other bags. And I don't know, by the way, some of these are pebbled leather and some may be a smoother leather. Not sure on that yet, but the burnished I know more about. It is a smooth leather. It's what they call grace leather. And from what I've been able to tell, the burnished amber is the only one that has the grace leather. It's a vegetable tanned leather. It's supposed to patina over time. And a lot of the pictures I've seen of it so far show pretty obvious veining in the leather. Some people hate that. I happen to love it. I love the texture of that and the organic nature of that. And this is the one that everyone seems to be most drawn to. But what you need to know about that, the burnished amber pieces are going to be more expensive. Your small size tabby messengers are going to run $395. The burnished amber, will be $50 more at $450. The medium-sized tabby messengers will be $495, but the burnished amber is $100 more than that at $595. It's quite a difference. The large bags will be $695. So they're not cheap, but they are actually less than I thought they were going to be considering the price increases we've been seeing at Coach. I find for what I'm seeing in the quality of these bags and the popularity of these bags, I'm finding them priced really well on the current market. Let's talk about the interior too, and then I'm gonna say one more thing about the burnished leather that's really important. So the interior, I keep getting mixed information on. Um, a sales associate and Coach customer service have both said that it's microfiber, but the listing from Coach just says it's a fabric lining. And the listing on the Tabby Messenger says that it's a modern take on an archival 1970s Coach design, which I think is a big reason a lot of us are drawn to it because it reminds us of the vintage Coach bags which so many of us really love and appreciate. And as I look at some screenshots that I took this morning that I hadn't added to my notes yet, Weiwei is saying that besides the grace leather, they have pebbled leather and they have a glove tanned leather. So back to the interior, we saw fabric, we've heard microfiber, the listings on Neiman Marcus, which I'll have linked below, I'll tell you about that in a minute, says cotton. And someone else said they thought it was thin suede or micro suede. I think that was less reliable information than the others. Two concerns about this bag. One is the strap is not detachable. It is built into the bag. You can see this on the sides of it, but it is at least adjustable. It looks like they all have five adjustments and they are designed to be crossbody or shoulder bags for most people. So hopefully that will work for most people. The other thing I haven't heard anyone mention, but I'm seeing could be an issue. I'm looking around me if I can get an example. One second. Okay, here's a vintage coach bag. I'm gonna bring this closer to show you what I'm talking about. So you see how the bag has this piping here and on the bottom that creates, where can I get a good angle of that? Oh, it's not as noticeable in this bag, but it creates a bit of a lip right here. So when you stand it up, the bag tends to sit on that piping more than it does on the base of the leather. What I'm seeing on these tabby messengers is that it has the piping around the front. I'm calling it piping, is that right? Trim, let's just call it trim. It has that trim around the front and that goes down to the bottom of the bag as well, but it doesn't have it on the front. So what that means is you have a lip on the back, but no lip on the front to balance it out. And what I see happening over time is the bag leaning forward because it doesn't have a lip on the front. So it leans on the soft side there. And that could potentially create some misshapenness on the front of the bag. Like right here, even though this has that, there's a little bit of an indentation here from it leaning forward a bit. So that's something to be aware of and maybe you don't care or maybe it's a bag you wanna lay down in storage or hang in storage instead of standing it up. Just something to be aware of. All right, I'm going back to the burnished amber for a second because there are two things you should know about it. One, what I have heard, and I've heard this from two different sources at this point, is that the burnished amber is in a much more limited quantity than the other bags, and that's the most popular one. So it's probably going to be the one that sells out first. I heard, and I don't remember where I got this information right now, but I heard probably from a sales associate in one of the Facebook groups that this morning or yesterday, which is gonna be a day or two before you're seeing this video, 
that there were only 77 available, so hopefully there will still be some available when it drops and we'll be able to buy some, but that's another reason I'm telling you, check that website several times a day, every day, in case it drops before we're expecting it. The other thing is, if you miss out on that, Neiman Marcus has it available for pre-order. Now they have an estimated ship date of sometime in late April. I don't know what that means. I've never pre-ordered from them. I don't know if it really won't ship until that long or it might ship sooner. I have no idea. I also don't know what their stock would be and how many bags they would have available for pre-order. I also don't know if Coach sells out of these right away, if they will release more of them. I've also heard people say this bag is going to be really popular. Coach will probably release it later in other colors, like they've done with the pillow tabby. I don't know if that's going to happen. When I saw the runway bags, I thought, oh, I want one of those giant ones. I wish they'd release the giant one in the burnished amber and they didn't. Why didn't they? That was dumb. Maybe someday. That's all the information I have for you. I hope you took notes. If not, watch this video again. Take notes. Be vigilant, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.